Good evening and welcome to Lowe's School. It is unfortunate we are not able to welcome you into the school to meet tutors and subject staff, but hopefully this evening's presentation and Q&A session will provide you with some useful information as your child embarks on their first year at Kimber Hall. My name is Mr Mowser and alongside my colleague Mr Yates, I'm responsible for overseeing the education and welfare of all Year 7 students at Kimber. In addition to the supervision of Mr Yates and myself, we have the senior pastoral team, um, Mrs Clifton as head teacher and safeguarding lead, Mr Parry, assistant head teacher in charge of behaviour and attitude, Mr Davis, assistant head teacher and safeguarding lead, and Ms Perry, inclusion and achievements manager. The most important component of the pastoral support network is the form tutor, and I'm delighted to introduce this year's year seven tutors. For seven grades, Mrs Kalikova, for seven Whittington, Ms Whitehouse, for seven Lee, Ms Sparks, and Mrs Bayliss, and seven summary, Mrs Hill. Your child's form tutor should be the first point of contact for any questions or concerns you have during their time at Kimber, and this member of staff will play the most important role in their development over the next five years. If you've not already done so, you may wish to watch the virtual tour of the school available on the school's website, as this showcases a lot of exciting changes that have occurred since you last visited um, at Open Evening over a year ago. Next, I would like to talk to you about the expectations um, we have of students and the support offered to them now they're at Kimber High. Um, the expectations of a student are outlined in the Kimber Habits and encapsulated by the three R's ready to work, respect to others and reach your potential. Ready to work means we expect students to arrive on time with the correct uniform and the correct equipment. Of equal importance is a positive attitude towards learning and an eagerness to engage in both classroom lessons and wider school life. Respect to others applies to all stakeholders in the school, so that's peers, teachers, support staff, site staff and parents. Our school is a community and every member of that community deserves to be valued. Being respectful to each other is how we convey that sense of value. Finally, reach your potential. Often students don't realise their own potential and it's the high expectations we place on students at Kimber that allows them to achieve more than they thought possible. Central to these expectations is the belief that learning and development are not confined to the classroom and that students should aspire to push themselves by engaging with the additional opportunity offered by the school. As a school, we recognise that in place to try expectations on students, we must also provide a high level of support in addition to that offered by subject teachers. I've discussed the aforementioned roles of the pastoral team, and in addition to that, Kimba offers several mechanisms of support. The Edge Virtual Learning Platform, that we are accessing for the first time this evening, is a home learning tool that allows students to access the curriculum away from the classroom, as well as offering parents the opportunity to track and support their child, courtesy of the wealth of information offered. Um, all students were given a login on the first day, and obviously if you're watching this presentation, they would use that login to access this outstanding learning tool. An extensive extracurricular program is fundamental in ensuring students have a robust offering of additional opportunities outside the classroom and we hope to soon offer a multitude of clubs and events across the curriculum areas and beyond. Finally, we use inclusion the Den of the Grange to provide bespoke support to students and alternative. And now we'll move on to the Kimber Conduct. Uh, rewards can be achieved by two avenues, classroom and pastoral. Subject teachers reward students for success in their lessons, whilst form tutors, uh, myself as head of the low school and uh, Mrs Clifton as head teacher, reward students for consistent achievement um, and also success outside the classroom. Within the standards, outline expectations with regards to punctuality, equipment, uniform and homework. Um, and like the previous slide and the next two slides, these can all be found uh, in the student planner for you to have a look at in greater depth. If students fail to meet expectations in the classroom, their content will be addressed with escalating levels of sanction, as outlined in the diagram below. Where a student's conduct is sufficient concern to warrant a level 3 sanction or above, we'll ensure that parental contact is made so that we can work together to support the student in question and help them to meet the expectations set by the school. The conduct card can be found in student planners and is used to both reward and sanction behaviour that occurs outside of the classroom setting. Students may be rewarded for displaying good manners or helping fellow students or staff during their break times, for example, uh, while sanctions may be issued 
for infringements of the Kindle standard, such as incorrect uniform or literary. Further behavioural examples can be found in the student plan. Where students achieve three community points, they will receive 30 reward points, and whilst three strikes for poor conduct will result in a lunchtime and reflect in detention. A lot of work has been undertaken by the Invictus Trust to improve marketing and feedback, ensuring that their use is effective in regards to the student process. There has been a large cultural shift towards live marking, which will see teachers providing instant feedback in lessons, rather than taking books home to mark and students receiving delayed feedback that has been proven to have little impact on progress. As a parent, you will see evidence of this feedback wherever there is clean pen on a student's work. Live marking involves the classroom teacher stamping a student's work, uh, providing feedback and setting a challenge to task which the students will complete in the aforementioned green pen. The aim of this task is to address any student misconceptions where they exist and to stretch students' knowledge further. Grid tasks represent independent tasks and have the intention of improving students' confidence in tackling difficult concepts alone. Here the teacher will make notes on students' responses and offer both whole class and individual feedback which the students will then use to annotate and improve their existing work. Uh, please note that during the COVID restrictions, live marking using the stamps is not inspected by staff and they are unable to circulate around the classroom. Um, However, grid tasks will still take place with teachers um, using Q&A to get student responses. Students will continue to receive formally marked assessments each half term. This use in the launch of the Student Leadership Programme, which seeks to provide robust opportunities for students to take on leadership roles at school and support the school mantra of engage, succeed, aspire to lead. Students have already been introduced to this programme and many forms have already voted for house captains and student council representatives. As the presentation draws to a close, my final thoughts are on us working together. Whilst nobody can care more about the success of their child uh, at school than a parent or carer, I suggest that the staff at Kinver are not far behind. We want the best for all students in our care and endeavour to live up to the first value of the Invictus Trust every day, in every way, our students come first. As such, we all share the same goal, and it's important that staff and parents work in unison, not opposition, to ensure the best outcomes for the students at Kim. Central to this is the development of positive relationships between staff and parents, and at its core, this requires effective communication. With that in mind, if you ever have any concerns about your child at Kim, then please get in touch, uh, and myself and the pastoral team promise to do the same. Similarly, it is important that we discuss success and achievement we will work hard to ensure that students' positive con contributions are communicated home. If you've not already done so, could I ask that you confirm your support for the school by reading and signing the homeschool agreement found in the student plan. Uh, below are some key dates for the year ahead, including when you can expect to receive uh, student reports and the, the date for the year seven students' parents. Uh, that brings the presentation to a conclusion. And you now have the opportunity to ask any questions you may have to your child's form tutor. Um, please ask any general questions that would be beneficial to all parents um, in the public chat. And if there's questions that are specific to your child, please use the private chat. Um, tutors will be supported by heads of department and pastoral team during this session, so we should be able to provide all information you require. Uh, thanks for your time uh, and have a pleasant evening.